Hello and welcome back to Rackner TV. I'm super excited to talk to you about an amazing web stack technology called LOMP. That is LOMP, L-O-M-P, and how we can use it as our base foundation for your WordPress site. In this video, we will install WordPress with LOMP, which stands for Linux, Open Lightspeed, MariaDB, and PHP. The PHP is for Lightspeed, also known as LSPHP. And do you know what the best part about this tutorial is going to be? Well, we will do all of these things, all of these configurations using a single line of code. So if you're into hosting websites or just curious about Open Lightspeed or LOMP web stack, you've come to the right place. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, let's go ahead and talk about installing WordPress and LOMP. WordPress is a popular content management system, also known as a CMS, that allows you to create and manage websites with ease. LOMP stands for Linux, Open Lightspeed, MariaDB, and PHP, which are the components needed, which in our case is to run with a LOMP stack. Now you may be wondering why would you choose LOMP instead of other web stacks? Well, it's a great question. One of the standout benefits is its simplicity. With LOMP, you can install WordPress with just one line of code, making the setup process quick and hassle-free. This means that you can get your website up and running in no time. And it's an officially supported script, not a third-party script that's pre-made by the one that we used in our previous videos and our other tutorials. You can actually find this code on their official website, which I will link to in the description down below just in case you want to check it out. Another advantage of using the LOMP stack is the performance and efficiency. Open Lightspeed, the web server component of LOMP, is designed to be lightweight and fast, ensuring that your WordPress site loads quickly and handles high traffic loads with ease. MariaDB serves as the database component, providing robust and reliable storage solutions. And LSPHP, which is the custom PHP specifically for Lightspeed web server technology, the scripting language, enables dynamic content generation and functionality on your WordPress site. Now let's go ahead and dive into the exciting part, installing WordPress with WAMP. And don't worry, it's way easier than you may think. Before you begin, make sure that you have a Linux-based server and root access. I believe this method supports any distribution, but in this tutorial, we will use the Alma Linux OS. I'll paste the link in the description for the tutorial on how to go about ordering a VPS from Rackner.com. So I'll be sharing my screen here and let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm assuming that you already have your server credentials on hand. So let's go ahead and log in to your server via SSH. I'm using Bitvice SSH client. Uh, the link is in the description, but you are free to use any other SSH client service of your choice. The commands will be the exact same. Now, once connected to your server, let's go ahead and update our system. To do this, run the following command to update the package list. This process may take some time if you just launched your server, but in my case, it didn't take long at all, as you can see here. Next, it's time to install WAMP along with WordPress using the official one line of code installation script. To do this, execute the following command. The one line of code script method comes with several options. First is to install Open Lightspeed, LSPHP, MariaDB, WordPress, and Lightspeed cache plugin within your WordPress website. And the second is to install Open Lightspeed and LSPHP only. We will use the first one to automate everything along with WordPress and skip any manual website server configuration, which is ideal for beginners. But don't worry if you're an advanced webmaster and you want to and you want to learn how to install LOMP manually, there will be upcoming videos about these topics on the channel, so make sure that you're subscribed to be up to date. When we run the script, please follow along the on-screen instructions if you're confused. Please pay attention to your screen while I go through my installation and response to the wizard. Also, make sure to copy your credentials when prompted and add it to your notepad or wherever else you want. Once the installation is complete, let's go ahead and make sure the installation was a success by checking the status of our Open Lightspeed web server. To do this, run the following command. 
So we're all good. Now let's go ahead and restart our web server to make sure that the current changes are applied. To do this, run the following command here. Next is to enable the traffic for the Open Lightspeed Web Server standard ports. Run the following one line of command to allow the ports in your firewall ID firewall service and then reload to apply those changes. If you're using a different firewall service, just use the appropriate commands for it or comment down below so we can assist you about your specific firewall commands. Once the installation and firewall setup is complete, we can access the Open Lightspeed Web Administration interface by opening your web browser and entering our VPS IP address followed by the port 7080. I'll put an example on screen. Now we can complete our WordPress installation through navigating to our server IP with port 80. I'll put another example on screen to show that. All we need to do is provide our preferred credentials, such as our admin and password, which you would want to use to get access to your WordPress website further. Once we've successfully installed WordPress, let's check the web server to confirm that Lightspeed technology is in fact up and running. And yes, it is, as you can see right here. And that's it. You have successfully installed WordPress with Womp on your server. And now you can start building your website, publishing content, and taking advantage of the wonderful features that WordPress offers. Remember, using the Womp stack simplifies the installation process and ensures optimal performance for your WordPress site. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you want to learn more about WordPress or any other hosting related content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and visit rackner.com for a wide range of affordable and reliable VPS plans where you can install WordPress with any web stack of your choice, like the Womp stack. Plus, you'll have a bunch of helpful tutorials on YouTube that will guide you every step of the way, making it easier for you to get started with managing your own web servers. And as always, feel free to comment down below any of your suggestions that you may have. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video and happy hosting.